Should you be pre-ordering the new Love Struck expansion pack? My first thought is no. First of all, we should never be pre-ordering an expansion pack this far out when we still have four weeks to go. But my rationale is that after the fiasco of the last expansion pack, which is The Sims 4 for Rent, which came out to be a complete buggy mess that still is not fully functional for the core gameplay features that they promised, which is being able to own and rent apartment lots, no, you should not be pre-ordering this expansion pack. We also really don't have enough information about all the systems that are coming with this pack. What's the turn-ons and turn-offs? What is the romantic satisfaction? How do we really try to have open or polyamorous relationships? I mean, there's so many what-ifs that it's really too soon to have any information. But for those of you who are determined to pre-order things ahead of time for no reason other than just to waste $40... The pre-order bonus does come with three items, which is Crimea River Eyeliner, Basic Breakup Double Bed, and the Herbie Heart Plushie. You can get the pre-item or items up until September 5th. So you do not have to pre-order the game to get the pre-order items as long as you purchase by that time. For those of you who are looking for new packs to buy, there is a sale currently going on through July 11th. And these EA team has made a specific bundle called the Sims 4 Get Dating Bundle, which includes the Get Together Expansion Pack, the Movie Hangout and Bowling Night Stuff Packs, and the Sims to Mits Collection, which was a kit that came out a, a year ago. I'm going to make a separate video on what packs I recommend. I don't necessarily agree with getting this bundle, but some of the other packs are also on sale at the same time.